Welcome to Sierra Leone. This is a country in Western Africa. I am here as part of a tourism development team. I am guided around by Hope for African, and I have been sent here by the founder of Dreamcatcher Foundation South Africa, who I've done an internship with for three months in South Africa a couple of years back. She is a pioneer in sustainable tourism, and now we are here training and guiding these lovely young men who really want to make their country better using tourism. We have had a couple of great meetings already with the Minister of Tourism and the Minister of Environment. And in this video, I will take you along across Sierra Leone. From the Lungi airport, we took a bus to the ferry docks. And after a very bumpy boat ride with onboard entertainment, we arrived in Freetown. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Freetown, Sierra Leone. I slept in this bedroom last night, uh, a very spacious bed and also a really good bathroom. There we go. And now it is time to go meet the team of Hope for African and also some ministers. I've put on my very official Dreamcatcher shirt and I'm ready to go. After a very filling and good breakfast, I could finally catch a first glimpse of the country through the car window. I loved the green hills. We had a good meeting at the Ministry of Tourism and continued to explore. I was in awe of the colorful dresses, the markets completely take over the streets, and even the parked cars. I really enjoyed the hustle and bustle of the capital. Whilst my guides were bargaining for a boat, I had lunch, and after that we went to Bunce Island, which you can see all about in my previous video. When we got back, the sun was setting, and I had my first experience in Sierra Leonean traffic. It took two hours for only eight kilometers, and our taxi broke down, and we continued by moto taxi. The next day, we were off to Kenema. The bus looked like it had seen better days, and we spent almost two hours waiting for the bus to leave while people were trying to sell their products. I really admire everyone carrying things on their head. I need to learn that too. Then after saying goodbye to Freetown for now, the landscape changed into palm trees and little towns for about six hours. About halfway we had lunch. I had a spicy beef stew and the others cassava leaf stew, which is a local favorite. We continued our way again and passed through the city Bo. Another big city before making it to Kenema. After meeting up with the local authorities to plan our next days, we made our way to a local community on a scooter. It was my first ever scooter taxi sandwiched between two men. It was a bit scary at times. <laughs> We passed by the eco lodge that they are building and did some research in the community. We then went back into town to celebrate a local wedding of a colleague. I am so excited today we are going to visit the Gola National Reserve with so many species that are unique to this region and I can't wait to go explore. Yesterday we went to a local wedding which was at police barracks and I had to give a speech. All the people were dancing and even the little ones, I mean so small but so much energy. The Gola rainforest is the largest remaining area of intact lowland rainforest in Sierra Leone and is a global biodiversity hotspot and a priority of international conservation efforts. At least 21 threatened species listed by IUCN have been recorded recently. The project area is listed as an important bird area where you can spot the very special white-necked picathartes. There are many different kinds of monkeys, among which the critically endangered western chimpanzee. We would be able to see both of these animals in the following day, so keep watching. The park is working with the seven local chiefdoms continuously, so those living on the edge of the forest can benefit from its conservation and sustainable management. Efforts against illegal mining, poaching and logging have paid off and locals are growing cacao for an alternative income. An animal that I really want to see is the endangered pygmy hippopotamus, which lives along the Mano and Moro rivers. For this, I will have to come back and do a three-day expedition to Tiwai Islands. To me, the Gola rainforest is the Western African equivalent of the Serengeti and the Gorilla regions in Central Africa, when it comes to one-of-a-kind biodiversity and experience. We visited the Gola Rainforest Conservation Center. Here they host visitors and researchers who want to conduct activities in the rainforest. 
you can stay at these eco lodges which are run with solar power and rainwater. When we got back to town, we had a local lunch once again and I got to try the famous Sierra juice, which is produced in Kenema. I really love driving through the streets as there is so much going on, like weddings and the women's society parading. Also it kept fascinating me that there seem to be more scooters than people in the streets. Morning, we are going to the South Gambi Hills. Apparently we are going to see some endangered bird species. I don't know, I'm skeptical. Also I did not wake up well. There is music blasting all night in the reception. The air conditioning is broken and it was yesterday, then the power went off, the aircon went back on, then the power went off again and now the aircon is off again. So I'm ready to go here. Also look at the state of the bed, how bad the linen is. Also yesterday evening someone slipped a phone number in between the cracks of my door. And I was accompanied by a mouse, which is apparently sharing this room. We then made our way to the community at the base of the South Cambry Hills Forest Reserve. We started our short expedition to see the white-necked Picatharites and came upon some obstacles along the way. We had to climb quite a bit to get to the other side of the hills, whilst hearing lots of birds and monkeys. We then reached a stream with a giant rock on the bank. The perfect location for a nest of the Picatharthes. BBC tried to see this bird for two weeks and failed. So I felt very privileged. And they were very young at that time. Yeah. And now they're starting with me. We have found the nest of the Picatharthes, which is underneath this big rock and we managed to take a picture of it uh, and it already has a lot of feathers when they first saw it it was very fresh uh, and it's really cool to see what is it in the local language this is the team we want to see does it we want we don't blue yeah <laughs> Going down we could see how high we had climbed and had a great view over the lowlands. We spotted lots of fauna and flora on our hike. My colleagues showed me lots of different fruits that I had never seen before and even a local toothbrush. We passed by a local palm oil refinery and the tool that they used to pick the palm. We saw cacao which the locals use and sell, also some wild coffee and of course lots of bananas and a local healing spice. We saw many beautiful flowers and lots of butterflies, even some goats and a bird colony in one of the trees. time to say goodbye to Kinema and the rainforests and return to Freetown. I to propose for God okay. that she won't. Isn't it cacao? Mm -hmm. Cola. Yeah, it looks like cacao. Yeah, this one is cola. Cola nuts. Dinner in the VIP service room was better than these nuts. Last night we made it back to Freetown and we already had a productive meeting with the Ministry of Environment and now we are on our way to go and visit a local market. Ah, yeah, okay. 
And this is a belt. Yeah. Okay. okay. Aside from local instruments, we spotted some of the different cultures and of course local natural medicine. What I love about this market is that the products are handmade at the market, not in China. Aside from wood, there was bronze as well. And of course, a lot of gorgeous local clothes and accessories. So on that ship, there is energy for the light of the whole yeah. country. Yeah. Wow. After our lovely visit to the market, we headed back for lunch. Sierra Leonean food is so spicy. I'm used to a lot of spice, as you may have seen from the Mexico videos and also the snacks I tasted. I didn't really flinch. But this is at like the threshold of where I no longer enjoy my food. I've eaten half of it now and I feel like I can't no more. And every single meal has been so spicy. We explored the beaches around Freetown in the afternoon for my previous video, so check that out. Morning! We have made it to the Takugama Chimp Sanctuary. So this is a rescue center for chimpanzees. There are over a hundred chimpanzees that have been rescued from homes where they were kept as a pet or they were being hunted. We have gotten a lovely tour of the Eco Lodge with amazing cabins. They also have yoga, they have bird watching, they even do walking tours uh, to a cave and waterfall. And inside you can see the different stages of rehabilitation and overall they are doing such amazing work. First, the chimps need to be isolated so they don't bring any diseases into the group. Then, the adolescents learn how to balance and climb here. After that, they are introduced into a larger area with lots of trees that simulate their natural habitat. The babies born in the sanctuary will stay with the mom and then they are ready to be released once it is safe for them to go. Aside from the waste washing up on the beaches of Freetown, there are some other challenges that the country is facing, like deforestation, illegal mining, and a lot of air pollution because of the burning of the waste, and so much more. Together with the ministries of Tourism and Environment, Hope for African, and Dreamcatcher Foundation, I hope to bring change into this, so that you can enjoy the beaches a lot more. Which, 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 <laughs> Hello, I am Dr. Russell Macaulay from Sierra Leone and Hope for Africa. I'm the head of program and Yusuf Jalo and the Admi Finance and then Eunice Aconte is the executive director from Hope for Africa. Guys, welcome. Well, welcome. Yeah. We are highly welcome yeah. at any time in Sierra Leone here. You are welcome. Come and visit our beautiful country. Thank you. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on the next videos. So make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.